Hi, this is me, Geek, and I'm Dan. Uh, in this week's video, I wanted to show some of the experiments I've been doing with my Ox CNC machine, specifically in terms of speeds and feeds to try and cut aluminium. I felt like it might be useful to other people if I shared some of the results of my experiments, and I would really encourage anyone in the comments to let me know about the results of their experiments, try and share some knowledge about what is possible to try and maximise kind of the effectiveness use of these machines uh, with minimizing hopefully tool breakage and frustration. So here's just a couple of experiments I've been doing with aluminium. I've been trying to make a Raspberry Pi case. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well. That's not too bad. Um, and here are some of the results of me machining and the details of the settings I was using. If you have any questions about the uh, machine or other settings I'm not sharing, please let me know in the comments. Um, uh, here are some videos of me cutting aluminium. parts that I am cutting in this video um, look pretty good actually at this point however what I will say is they're not quite right <laughs> they don't match up with each other perfectly I think I screwed up in a couple of ways whilst I was making this but that was mostly human error within one of the strategies I used uh, I was trying to pocket out a relatively thin trough uh, just here and you can see at the end here, uh, I've cut through it. This, this was an accident. Uh, basically, I think I just wasn't getting enough cooling for that kind of uh, trough. And so it ended up gumming up with aluminium and going off the rails. So it's certainly not super easy to do. I think I could probably achieve it. In the future, what I might actually do is is use a pass to kind of mark out locations and then kind of hand drill out some of that material because I think I could probably protect the cutter a little bit by not making it do as much work it might actually be faster to do that so still experimenting I did this quick test with MDF as part of creating a new set of soft drawers for my vice I figured I had the big bit on and it was and I was going pretty hard, so I thought I'll just take the whole thing in one pass. And this is what happened. As you can see, this thing is throwing dust into the air. <clears throat> had I been more prepared, I probably could have had a vacuum in here. I literally covered everything in MDF dust, which, as we all know, is not a great substance. Uh, but it was pretty cool to see the machine really just plow through at this kind of pace um, and take all that material off in one go. I've typically not been quite that aggressive in any of my CNC usage.
After that aggressive cut, um, the stock was pretty hot to touch, stayed hot for quite a while. I didn't necessarily intend to be quite so aggressive. I didn't quite get the Z height calibrated correctly, so I think I took perhaps sort of 0.2 or 0.3 of a mil more than I anticipated, which doesn't seem like a lot, but when I'd previously been cutting in half mil increments, uh, adding kind of that much more it was quite a lot. Uh, but it, it worked and it feels pretty smooth, which is quite nice. Yeah, it feels very smooth. But I think cutting for too long like that, you'd you'd heat up the bit and the stock and start just melting aluminium, which would be very bad. But yeah, basically, if you're holding everything securely, half mil height passes, pretty fast RPMs, um, does work. I think I could probably make the RPMs go higher. Uh, obviously for the smaller bits, like the three mil bits, I've kind of been cautious about trying to push the uh, feed rate too high because I've definitely snapped some bits that way. Um, let me know if you've done any experiments with your CNC machine, cutting metals or interesting materials. It's always really useful to have that kind of insight into how hard people are pushing their machines and what, can, what they're capable of. So thanks for watching. See you next time.